Hi everyone. For today's math lesson, I want you to do your best to count along with me and follow along as I go through each interactive worksheet. Today we are going to be looking at Paige, Drew, and a few other friends from Unique Learning System, and they're going to help us count. Remember to use your finger to touch the screen and count and point as you go. So we're looking right here first. Paige turns on four flashlights. Count four flashlights. So we're going to use our finger and we're going to point. One two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we see that Paige has four. Now let's see how many Drew four. has. Four. Drew has one, two. So again, use your fingers to help you point and count. One, two. Drew has two. 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 And let's look down at the bottom. Who has more? So when we look at more, we want to look at the larger number. If we're looking at groups of objects, you would be looking at which group of object had the biggest amount. So we know that Paige has four and Drew has two. So go ahead and think about who has more. What is the biggest number, four or two? If you said page, you are correct. The number four is bigger than the number two. Who has less, Paige or Drew? So we just said that Paige had more. Okay, so now we're looking at who has less. Less is the smaller number. If you're looking at groups of objects, it's the smaller amount. Who has less, Paige or Drew? Go ahead and try to figure it out. Okay, if you said Drew, you are correct. Drew has less. Let's continue on. Paige turns on five lamps. So first let's count our lamps. Remember, you can use your finger to point and count. One, two, three, four, five. If you don't want to use your finger to point, you can use your fingers here. One, two, two, three, three, four, four, and five. Five. Paige has five lamps. Five. five. Now let's see how many Drew has. Drew turns on three lamps. Let's count three lamps. One, two, three. Now you try. Use your finger. Or like this. One, One two, two, three. three. Drew has three lamps. Three. Three. Now again, let's look at who has more. Remember that more is the bigger number. If we're looking at groups of objects, it's the amount that has the most. Okay? What is the highest number? Who has more? Go ahead and try to see who has more. If you guessed Paige, you are correct. Another way that we can look at who has more, you can look at your pictures right here. When looking at the lamps lined up, they're all equally spaced apart, we can see that Paige, her line of lamps is much longer. It's more, so we know that she has more. Now who has less? Now again, less is the opposite. We're looking at the smaller number who has the least amount. Who has less, Paige or Drew? Go ahead and try to guess. If you guess Drew, you are correct. 
Now here on this page, we can see that it talks about the same. So when something is the same, it means that they are equal. So if Paige has five lamps and Drew also has five lamps, then they would match. Each group would look about the same and the numbers are the same, meaning they are equal, okay? So in this situation, we see that Drew has three and Paige has five, so they are not equal. But if they were the same, they would be the same number. All right, boys and girls, today as you go out, try to pick up some objects and count them. And remember, you can count them with your fingers. You can count them using your fingers here. If you want to count in your head, you can do that too. But wherever you go today, try to pick up a few objects and count them. Thank you.